our pictures. Hi guys, it's me, Big. And Dad. Big Dad TV, and today we're going to be reviewing uh, Mojo from Marvel Legends. Right, this is Mojo! Me and Big have no idea who Mojo is, but um, I saw him sitting on the shelf and he looked really cool. So I thought, hey, Boog might like this guy. So he kind of reminded me a little bit of Modoc, but um, I think he might actually be like nastier. What do you think, Boog? Uh, yes. He looks part man, part robot, kind of Doc Ockish. Part type. alien. Yeah. So I think there's a little thing on here that Boog might can read, maybe tell us uh, who he is. I believe he is with the X Men guys, though, I think. The interdimensional television and impresio Mojo has his sights set on the X Men on his next big stars, and he won't take no for an answer. That's it. Yep. Okay, so I'm guessing he's a comic book kind of guy. Uh, um, Mom, you're you're the X Men fan. We'll have to refer to Mom on this one. Do you know Mojo? So Mojo's probably not made it to any movies yet. So I'm I'm assuming he's just a comic book uh, guy at this point. But he looks really awesome, and we do have a good many X Men, uh, yeah. um, uh, uh, of the Legend figures. So you know he works. Uh, I think he was thirty, forty dollars, I believe, at the Target. So not not crazy, crazy expensive or anything. And we have the brand new Marvel Legends packaging. Uh, oh, is this new packaging? Yeah, with no with no bubble. You're right. Wait, uh, they. Stop the bubble. Oh, well, not really bubble the plastic. Um, hold that thought. Oh, yeah. the plastic over the front. So yeah. this is, is this the way they're going now? Well, because when we got, uh, my all-time favorite, Modoc. So I guess they um, kind of reused the box from him, I guess. Yeah, it looks very similar. So, but yeah, no, uh, package Get out of my here. Review. Uh, yeah. So anyway, he never, nobody will be as awesome as Modoc, but... This guy does look kind of cool. Maybe so, he will. We don't know yet. You think so? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we're about to find out. Did you still have your scissors? Yeah. I already cut him already. Oh, you were prepared. Nice. All right. Let's get into it here. Hopefully there's not a lot of assembly. If not, me and Derek got to have to do a reshoot. Then I'll ha yeah, I'll have to entertain you for an hour while we put together. Nobody wants that. At least it's just an extra so the whole entire place. Yeah. I can't even blab that much on topic because I don't... I don't know that much about Marvel. I hadn't even seen the new Thor movie yet. But Mom has. She says it's very good. Right, Mom? Did you like it? That's She says yes. <laughs> mm, okay, so a mediocre to, review. We're going to have to double team this. It was just good, not great. Oh, no. Oh, this is disaster. Double team too much. <laughs> oh, oh, there's still something in here. Okay. So, me yeah, and, me and Jay are too powerful. Got to be some assembly. Um, I tried to convince Boog to do this first, but as uh, usual, he does not listen to me. But uh, let's go over the box while he's... Even, even if there's assembly, it depends on how difficult this assembly is. While he's doing uh Yeah, we have that. a savior. All of his ten tentacles are stuck to the base. Okay, that's good. So we don't snap all those on. And there he is. Yeah, he's kind of an overweight, grotesque. Looking dude. Um, and it looks like he's, uh, I guess, kind of cyborgish in this, um, you know, machine thing here. Um, very X Men ish. X, X, is that a word? X Men ish of him? Mm -hmm. X, well, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, anyhow, the packaging is nice. Like Big said, it is uh, clear plastic or bubble free, however you want to look at that. Uh, we did notice on, but I did notice, I, I thought it was something special they just did for um, the Black Panther series, uh, but yeah, all of it is completely cardboard. There's no, uh, there's no viewing window in uh, it either, so maybe Boo's right. That's the first thing I've ever seen really done like that, so maybe that's the way they're going now. Um, I heard, yeah, they were trying to get a little more, uh, what, eco-friendly and leave the plastics out. Well, here's his chest so, and arms. Oh, yeah, so he's going to be a pretty good size. So, yeah, we got the chest and arm piece here. And then here goes the stomach again. And, but you guys see that. So, yeah, he's a bit of a mutant. He's only got four fingers. Kind of weird. So... Well, two, three fingers and a thumb. Or alien, I guess. Yeah, three fingers and a thumb. 
But it's he's pretty large. Yeah, he's not going to be really and, small. Uh, we have Dad's stomach here. Right what? Here. <laughs> not quite that big yet. Yeah, but so we might as well just um, attach this. All right. Dude's yeah. going without the instructions here. I'll go ahead and wrap no this up. <clears throat> I can show you his base. So uh, this looks like his spider type transporter, uh, which, which well, I think he's actually attached to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to attach to it. This is kind of cool, though. It's got some, uh, looks like some uh, lights down here. I don't think they come on, but it'd be really cool if they did. Oh, but... no, that's, uh, you can, that's how the, he, he, that's, he actually hovers. He doesn't crawl. Oh, so that's to give it the hovering look? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're kind of clear just to be invisible, I guess. Kind of. his up. Right. So yeah, he can kind of do it either way. He can hover craft, or he can. Uh, uh, the, let's well. just get it back with it so you guys can see. Tilt the camera down just a hair. There, okay, you guys better view. Okay, yeah. And then now we kind of got him off the tentacles, and he's okay. on his four or his three little kickstands there. So let's flop. Oh, jeez, he's uglier in person. Look at that one. <clears throat> but I always love these like gross. Uh, looking guys. They're just fun for some reason, I think. Um, like I said, Modoc's awesome, and then this guy's going to be better than I expected. He looks like an awesome villain for whatever you want to use him for. Um, uh, who knows? He may even take over Legoland. Uh, Boog's had a lot of problems with Modoc. Right, Boog? Yeah. So, yeah, who, who knows what we'll use this guy for. But, you know, if you're a kid, you'll find tons of uses for an ultimate villain like this. Um, not so ultimate. If you think he's not that ultimate, what? He's very ultimate. Oh gosh, we get two ugly heads. Oh, it gets worse. So this one, you get all oh, the tongue kind of coming out, Jabba the Hut style. Um, I guess he's looking at some delicious something. Not sure what this fellow may eat. And this one, he's got a sinister kind of laugh with his three chins. Um, very nice. Got a great slick back haircut. Kind of long. And we have, I think this is going to be part of his tail. Not sure yet. I'm sure Boog will have it figured out here in a minute. Oh, no, that's his chair. Oh, this is his chair? Oh, okay. Weird chair, but I don't think the Emperor would approve of this, but I guess Boog says that's his chair. And then, uh, is this also part of the chair? Uh, yes. Okay, so yeah, I another... think we have finally have them attached to his super chair. Another piece of the chair. All right. He's, he's attached now. Okay. So he's attached. I think we got all the pieces out. So yeah, as you can tell, assembly on this has not been bad. He was getting this uh, knocked out really quick. He hadn't even took a peek at the instructions, I don't think. Nope. Came prepared. Yeah. I knew he would like this guy. Now, which head scan should we use? Uh, well, I kind of like the nasty tongue Jabba looking one. But we haven't. Jabba has been replaced. Oh, we can never replace Jabba. He has been replaced. He's the ultimate slimy slug. He's the one probably that inspired all these other creatures. Or maybe this is the guy who inspired him. Never know. Hmm. Oh, I'm pretty certain Jabba was first, but I don't know that to be a fact. Comment down so below. I'm not too familiar with uh, what was this guy's name? Mojo. Mojo. The only yeah. Mojo I know is Mojo Jojo, and that's from Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, yeah, Powerpuff Girls. Not the same. He was a, a monkey-looking guy. If you know, you know. Her cheeks. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, I think. I think his head scans. But comment down below if we have any Mojo Jojo fans out there. Or should I say, Mojo Jojo? Yeah. Got his hair, his head on there. Yeah, he is looking nice. Well, as nice as he can look. Right, right. And that's... Wow, so he's got a crazy tentacle thing up top. And now he's ready to attack. Oh, so this is, this is it? Yep. Completed form? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of the thing nightmares are made out of. Um, oh, wait, no, we're, we're not done yet. 
Okay. Uh, back there. Sorry. A little more. A little more. Kind of hefty, too. It's not just that much attached to this chair. Oh, we have some tubes. We've got wires. Oh. Little life support there. I guess the, the tubes kind of connect him to the chair. More than he already is. <laughs> yeah. Can't be falling, falling out of the chair. And then I think we have another thing over here. Oh, a little more. Oh, it's interchangeable hands. Oh, interchangeable hands. So, uh, so oh. He, so he can be like, you're the man. The pointers, something. the holding something. And then he can hold something. And the grippers. Okay, let me show him this real quick. So yeah, here's the pointer. Really well, nice. They kind of thought of everything with this guy. So, like I said, I, I don't know if you're, if you're a fan of him or know who he is as far as the comics go, but either way, just from an action figure perspective, he is really amazing. They did an awesome job with him. Yeah, he is disgusting, gross, uh, but cool all at the same time. Right, Boo? Yeah. It's a 1985. Uh, what's that? Mojo? Oh, so Mom has done some research here, and she says Mojo has been around the comics since 1985. Jabba debuted in The Empire Strikes Back, which would have been 1980. No, no not uh, Empire Strikes Back. That was in uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. No, I think he, I think he was actually in Empire. And then uh, he was in Jedi more, but he was in Empire 2, I'm pretty sure. 1983. Um, I can't remember being in New Hope. So. Return of the Jedi. So, um, so yeah, Jabba is older, but just barely. Yeah. So, in that debate, they're really, really close in age. But yeah, this guy is, is super, so, super Yeah, cool. I think he's about in the, in the in the range point where they're like similar, but they're but Mojo wasn't based on him. <laughs> I think yeah. about, oh, no, 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 no. I think they're about in that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Marvel, whoever it was at the time, they c concocted this monstrosity, but... Um, that looks, suspiciously uh, looks a lot like Dad, for some reason. This is not like anything like me. <laughs> <laughs> this is like your sister's ex-boyfriend. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, the detail on it dad, is just dad, amazing. Dad just destroyed him. Uh, I mean, he looks like all this would be super jiggly, and it, it is. When you feel of it, it's like soft and yeah, it's squishy. It's squishy um, and disgusting. Face is not, yeah, really disgusting. But yeah, it's kind of like rubbery hands. All this is hard plastic. Um, and then you can see kind of the details they added here where he actually looks like he's attached to the chair with the tubes. Uh, same thing on this side. Uh, his color is really good. He's like a nasty pale. Sickly looking dude. And then the back of the chair has got some detail too. This is what we saw earlier. Big was right. That was his chair with some wiring, other things. So yeah, I think just from an action figure perspective, he is great. Um, yeah, I would have loved this guy, no matter what he is, if I had him when I was a kid. He's a good super villain for however you're playing. He reminds me of um, Doc Ock. Yes, that's what we were. Yeah, he does. Doc Ock mixed with his face Java. and body kind of reminds me of, yeah, Little Java. But he reminds me, the face is, is, is more um, uh, Ursula, kind of. <laughs> yeah, so he's got some characteristics of all of them. Yeah, he could really, yeah. really work on it either side of the battlefield, really. Yeah, and I see why they had to make the stands now, because he, he's got some heft to him, so I don't think these little legs will hold him. Yeah, he just kind of, so yeah, he had to have those just to kind of hold him up. Yeah, thank you, Ed. Yes. I think he'd look better if, like, we raised up the legs. Like that. So, yeah, he's going to go down and, uh, I'm sure battle with Modoc for, uh, the super bad of, uh, super bad of the year. Who's going to rule the Star Wars room? <laughs> Maybe the Emperor, too. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could see him really uh, really being on either side of the battlefield. Like he kind of like gives me the vibes of like uh like uh like he, he gives me the villain vibes but at the same time he kinda of like uh I could come up with something where like he's like um where like um he's like uh super injured badly and isn't just combined to this chair. Oh yeah. And he and he can't get out. Right. Yeah, we need some backstory on this guy. He's definitely had some things uh, go really wrong in his life. 
<laughs> so, anyway, but this is this is what the granny mobile looks like. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, well, uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, review on Marvel Legends Mojo, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like, subscribe for some more awesome Marvel Marvel Legends fun. Bye. See you next time. And I'm dead with the epic leaving.